All right, joined now by Dave Barnett from the Tour Junkies. Check them out. One of the best follows in golf, particularly when it comes to betting and fantasy. Thanks for joining me, my man. What's up, Caddy John? Good to good to be on again. Love love you and the Caddy Network. Thanks for filling in on our show this week while I'm here in, in uh, my Miami, and yeah. uh, happy to be here. Yeah, I had a blast there with Pat, and I and I didn't know where you were. You just said, "Hey, can you fill in?" And then he opened the show saying you're down at the Live event in Miami, and I was like, "Man, I was hoping to be there." Like, I'm jealous that you're there. I mean, you you were out there yesterday. You're out there today. First Live golf impressions. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I came down here to play in the the PGA Memes event um, at Palm Beach at Trump's Course at Palm Beach. We did that on Monday. That was a lot of fun. Tuesday was yesterday was a free day. Uh, Live wasn't open, so my first oh, okay. look at it was was today, um, and it was interesting. You know, I mean, the, the reason I'm down here is like just because I was already down, and then I just wanted to kind of see how the sauce was made a little bit, um, maybe get a sense for just how things are going, like how things maybe may feel different. Uh, we're pretty tight with like Charles Howell and and Harold Varner that that both made the leap to Live. Haven't really caught up with them since they've done that, so. I've been talking to them and, and planned on catching up with them. Caught up with HP3 today, Charles tomorrow. Um, but it, it was interesting. Um, you know, it's, I, I will say from like a, a credentialed media experience, it was very nice. Yeah. Um, it was very different. Um, like I, I get there and I check in and they're, they're like, oh, thanks for being here. Here's a, here's a gift. Um, so they've given us like this bag with, uh, some goodies in it and it's like good stuff it's not chintzy you know um and i was like i'm just media <laughs> she's like yeah i know uh I like, okay cool that's that's interesting um and you know food was really good it was uh it, there was plenty of it that was interesting mm -hmm. it, you know um and what's wild is just the access is completely yeah. different i mean completely different it was I mean, you were walking around. I was walking around, and so it's a, it's a Trump's place at Doral. Um, I'd never been here before. You've probably been there before, haven't you? Did you carry Doral? I haven't been there. No, I've never no? carried Doral, no. Um, so obviously it's, you know, it's a Trump place, so it's like super opulent, and there's all kind of, you know, it's like stuff to look at everywhere. But, like, I could literally go anywhere. I could go anywhere but the locker room and player caddy dining. Yeah. But I mean, I took a phone call. I had some coffee in this one little area, and you know, DJ walks by, and Phil walks by, and the caddies are talking, and Sean Foley walks up, and Claude Harmon walks up, and they're all just like wives are walking around. It's like very different if you've been, you know, if you've had media access at a PGA Tour event. It's very, very different. It's just yeah. a little more. You're a little more roped off. Um, you, you're you don't have that access to the. You're not that close to the players, um, and. Which, you know, I mean, I could see being a, a, maybe a, a negative thing for the players, but, you know, um, but it was interesting. So the access was weird, uh, which is different. And uh, I did the press conference this morning. The press conference was pretty, like, it was actually, I've watched all, like, pretty much all the live press conferences because it's just, you know, it's must-see TV most of the time. But um, it was very entertaining today because they were announcing the captains. Did you watch any of it? I, I all I saw was Kevin Na's attempt to talk smack to Lee Westwood, and then I saw the later clip of all the captains <clears throat> together. The Brooks Phil exchange has been getting a lot of publicity. But I was going to ask you like what the highlights were from the press conference, dude. I think the highlight was was my question. Honestly, did you get I your question I, in? I got my question in. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I I, I kind of took a shot at DJ and Austin. Love it. So I, I said, Phil, I, I said, this question's for Phil. I said, DJ and Austin, you know, the, I, said, I said, the four aces are two to one to win this week. They're two to one. And you guys are now allowed to use range finders, apparently. And so my question is, given DJ and Austin's track record with math, now that they can use range finders, do you think that number's too long? And is that a value? And it was hilarious. <laughs> like, um, and everybody kind of thought that was funny. Phil had a tremendous answer for it, of course. But um, it was interesting because, like, all the players were in there. There was 100 people in this media center, 100 people. Yeah. Uh, all the players were in there except for, like, the teams from the top four that I guess that, that are exempt. I, dude, I don't know about you, but I could not for the life of me figure out the format for this damn tournament until I got into that press conference. I, I've, 
I'd read it a couple times. But I still was trying to figure out what. So, so who's playing who? And there's so, but but when you're there and you're and they had it up on the screen and they were showing the matchups and rolling it out, I, it did make sense to me what they were doing. And it's kind of interesting. So, yeah. um, you you have the captains playing head to head, you know, one on one match play, and then right. those captains select one of their players to do another head to head, and then two of their players to team up in in uh, alternate shot. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna, it's interesting, you know, it's different. And so, but all the players were in there. You had the captains up on the, up on the stage, but all the players were in there, HV3 was the, you know, front and center and he was chirping the whole time. There was a lot of trash talk going on, a lot of trash talk going on. Phil was doing what Phil does, running his mouth so much, like could not give a short answer to any question. Probably a lot like me right now. Um, no short answers to any question. The Kevin Na exchange. In fact, in the group that I walked nine holes with, somebody, somebody was like, uh, I don't want to say who, but somebody was like, Yeah, dude. He's, he's like, Dan, you know, he's like, We don't have commercial breaks because we don't have, you know, we don't have a TV contract. But damn it, if we don't try to fit him in because Kevin Na takes so long to play a golf hole, um, they were they were giving Na a bunch of, and Na was not in our group, but. Anyway, there was that exchange, Brooks and Phil, whatever. Um, but it was interesting. It was very, you know, uh, yeah. it was in- it was interesting. Yeah, I know. I thought it looked like interesting. That you're right. There was a lot of people, and I could hear when they laughed at the different comments. What you mentioned catching up with HV three earlier. I'm just curious, kind of what your takeaway from talking to him was, because that was kind of an interesting move that he made. You know, he he kind of, you know he went his own way. Like everybody that's come out here has. And, and I didn't know if you got any interesting comments from HV three about what it's been like for him out there. Yeah. I, I got a couple of, um, I, I didn't do a lot with, with H. I mean, I, I walked the nine holes with him. And we talked a good bit, but I, um, I, I won't be like putting out a whole lot of stuff with him. A couple of questions I asked him, but um, he is, I, I'll tell you this, John, I've walked, I've walked a practice round with guys in the ropes, maybe four times. Um, obviously you've done that a bunch. Um, nobody ha- has ever had more fun playing at nine holes than HV three today. Like he just, and, and, and now I'd never walked it. I'd never walked nine holes with him before. So he may just be like this all the time. But so we played with, we, we had a fivesome. We had Swafford and Turk Pettit. They played alternate shot today. So they, they kind of did their thing. I think Turk's playing evens like, Turks on evens, Huddies on on odds. So so they were doing their thing. So it was, it was five players. It was kind of four balls, right. you know. And then you had HV, you had um, James Piot, and then you had um, Bubba. Bubba's play or not, he's not playing this week, but he played today. Oh, he yeah. played he nine holes play. today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He only hit driver twice. Um, he said he, he wasn't going to let himself hit driver more than twice, just for just it's precautionary. But he played played solid, but. Anyway, um, HV and and James Piot had a, a you know I think a five hundred decide auto press two down situ- one down situation. Uh, they were talking trash the whole time. HV three is talking trash the whole time. He's dancing ev- on every other hole. <laughs> um, he learned he uh, Bubba's son Caleb was out there the whole time and. Caleb taught HV3 how to do the gritty. Um, HV3 was gritty, and he was uh, he he just had, he was having a blast. He was sending driver on every hole. I mean, you know, guys were like, "Why are you hitting driver?" He's like, "Why not?" You know, he's ripping yeah. driver everywhere. He played pretty good actually. Um, it was it was interesting. Like he was very laid back, and dude, I mean, it was nothing for me to just walk in the ropes and do my thing and like take video and post pictures and. You know that's different, as you know. Yeah, it's I mean, a little, it's a little tougher to do that. No, the access has been really good. The treatment has been good. I mean, there's been a lot of things that they've been mm-hmm. doing the right way. Um, you, you mentioned the golf course, and, and I've seen it on TV. Never been there. The Blue Monster. I mean, what were your thoughts on the golf course, and maybe the types of players it could favor this week if we're kind of just kind of gearing towards the betting angle a little bit? Mike, who might win this thing? I, I mean, this is a bomber's track all day long. I don't understand. It was long, dude. Very long, and today the wind was. I don't think the wind was doing anything. I haven't looked at the weather this week. I don't know how windy it's going to get, but I can imagine if it does get windy on a few holes, it will be nasty. I mean, 
Varner's not short. He's not as long as every you know a lot of guys, but he's not short. And there were a number of par fours where he's you know two oh eight, two twelve in. There was you know the par fives. I think I think one time he reached one of the par fives. On no no he didn't actually Hudson reached one one time. But the par fives are long. Um, it's a it's a long golf course, and the Bermuda rough is is not. It's, it's Bermuda rough. It's mm-hmm. settling or it's, you know, it's not good. Um, so yeah. it's, it's bombers, it's Florida, Bermuda, tough, you know, tough specialist, um, Bermuda chippers and putters, I think is what it, but, it, but then again, it's match play. So it's like, yeah, you know, um, HB was making fun of a lot of those guys. Like, why are y'all hitting three wood off to you? Like, you, you just got to beat your guy, like be aggressive score. Um, He's like, screw y'all for doing, you know, trying to overthink this. He's like, you only got to beat one guy, you know. So right. it's a little different, I guess, in match play, right? Well, you were we were texting last night, and you said, man, I said, I got to get my picks in, and I still got to do it. But you said, man, betting this week is kind of a fool's errand. Like, it's it's so so many things going on. I, I'm intrigued by the match play aspect and how they're mm-hmm. kind of, you got to divvy up those three points. And then they throw the curveball at you on Sunday with the stroke play, count all four scores. I mean, do you have any thoughts on handicapping this? I mean, I've got a no. few ideas. No, nothing. <laughs> I have nothing, dude. I've I've not really had a chance to like digest it. Like I said, I was in the press conference when I actually figured out the the, the format. You know, you don't you don't even know like who's going to advance and who. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I, I have no idea. I think I would just. I would save your unit or or, or something. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Uh, but and it, these so, guys, go ahead. They're all looking forward to three months off. I've yeah. heard, I've heard, of, I heard a good bit of that today. Um, but I will say this too: like I, I was interested to just sit back and listen to, you know, how were they were they out there trying to figure it out, you know, or were they just who gives a, sh- you know? And they were. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I heard caddies talking about certain lines and the caddies. Um, but Kyle Bradley's a friend of mine. You probably know Kyle Hudson's guy. Mm-hmm. Um, he's from Augusta. I caddied with him at, at the National back in the day. KB. Like he's, KB. KB. He's grinding. Um, you know, and, and they were, they were you know, they were talking about it. Like Huddy and Peck and Turk were talking about alternate shot stuff. And, um, you know, so it, it did seem like they, they actually were trying to have a game plan. Um, so, and then tomorrow's well, the Well, it is Pro-Am. a $50 million purse. I guess that'll uh, yeah that'll that'll motivate a few, huh? Um, Jeez, yeah. But I, I'm intrigued on this Sunday thing because I mean I and I was also kind of rifling you a text on this too. Like everybody's been kind of jumping on bashing Pat Perez this whole time, right? Like he's his scores yeah. sometimes count, sometimes it doesn't. He's just raking in the cash. He's spraying everybody with champagne, like you know he's just having a blast. But on Sunday. Like, you know, it's very conceivable that this thing's going to come down to, like, counting Pat Perez's score or not. I mean, no, he, he might go play lights out on Sunday, and, and, and somebody else's score is going to, you know, maybe he'll win the thing for him. But I, I'm just intrigued by that aspect that all four of these guys. And when I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, you got to be good enough to get through this first two days. But then on Sunday, you everybody's got to be able to play this golf course. You can't hide on Sunday. So I don't know. Yeah, I just find true. that a little interesting. Yeah, I mean the odds are the four aces are gonna. I mean they're they're they already have the buy. Uh, wow. I don't see them not getting into the the final the Sunday conversation. Um, I saw Pat out there today hitting on the range, which I was wondering. There were some players I didn't see from the from the four teams that um, are, are getting the buy. Uh, there was a, there was a handful that I did not see, and maybe I missed them. But um, yeah. you know, I, I was wondering if I'd see all of them, and I, I don't know, but. Yeah. Um, I'll be back out there tomorrow, and and they're all out there tomorrow playing in the pro am. Um, there, there's no patron. There patrons. I'm sorry, Augusta guy. There's no there's no gallery for the pro am, which I didn't know. I didn't know about. I didn't know that. But um, I'll be out there tomorrow with Charles Howell a little bit, and uh, maybe get a little more intel yeah. on what what we think. But it's going to be interesting to see um, what's going on. Yeah, and so you're not sticking around for Snoop Dogg, huh? No, I'm gonna get to the house, man. I, I didn't. Um, I've, I've been here since Sunday. Like I said, played in that PJ Memes event Monday morning, um, and I just, you know, I, I kind of just wanted to see the difference between like the yeah. behind the scenes media stuff. I do wish, I do wish I could hang out and like see what the crowd vibe was, if it says advertised, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, 
So I would like to know that at some point, but I'm just, I, I got to get to the house. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. You can't party in Miami all week long. No, all right. no, no. Yeah. All right. Well, DB, thanks for taking a little time out of your day. It's great to hear these insights. Yeah, and, and, uh, again, yeah, it's always good to catch up with you and the tour junkies. Yeah. Thanks, John. Appreciate it.